Hey everyone, this is Kathy with Scrappin' Days. I wanted to share with you real quick a project I've been working on. It is one of these altered balsa boxes that you can find at Michael's in their dollar bins. Uh, recently I went there and I got uh, several different sizes. This cylinder style. This one, uh, like this particular box, it looks kind of like uh, camera shaped and this one that's longer but it looks like an eyeglass case. Um, I like to collect these little boxes every now and then uh, for little gifts. I've seen a couple of ladies on YouTube use them for uh, Valentine treats and that was uh, really really cute. Um, and also one lady used this camera shaped one to actually make a camera out of it and her photos on the inside look like a roll of the old film which is kind of neat. Uh, I don't remember her name, but you could probably research it on there uh, to find it if you want to go see that. Uh, anyway, this is my altered box. Um, I used the Paper Line uh, London Market uh, by Pink Paisley. Uh, very pretty papers. Uh, let me just show you a few of them. Uh, this was one. This pretty pink has a very vintage type feel to it and I love pastels and um, that type of uh, style of paper and um, also I used uh, in the project uh, some of this uh, dictionary paper that was sent to me from a friend up in New York um, and I've included uh, some things in here from various swaps and gifts that I have received for being a hostess for various swaps. So uh, I'll mention those as we go along. Okay, so the front, I um, used the piece of paper that kind of looked like a map and just Mod posh it on. And with the Mod posh, I mixed a little bit of the Glimmer Mist with it to give it a kind of a greenish tint to it. Uh, this one is the apple color, uh, so it gave it a uh, not too deep of green color, but just enough to give it an old feel to it. And then also came back along the edges a little bit with some vintage photo uh, by Tim Holtz. So here on the front for my opening, I used this big bling that uh, kind of reminds me of a keychain uh, so that she just grab this and open it up so I used velcro as my closure and inside I made a mini for her and I did not cover the whole, whole entire side with paper I just used a little bit of the vintage photo stain on the inside uh, for that So here is the mini. It only measures about three and a quarter by two and a quarter. And I just, just used a basic ribbon for the closure with some eyelets. If I can get this open. Uh, this lollipop flower was given to me by Veronica. And in the last uh, stick pin swap, this was one of the stick pins uh, that was made for me. And I went ahead and just hung this little key charm on there. She can remove it, use it for a necklace or whatever she'd like. Um, so let's, I'll just basically show you the inside. Um, I kept it kind of plain. Uh, here's a little tag. And a punched a butterfly, some bling. Just a little clip here. Uh, a photo mat. Here's a photo mat that's hidden behind some lace. Uh, this place was given to me, uh, I believe, from Melissa Test in New York. And also that dictionary paper, I used it on this photo mat here. Really didn't do anything to this page. Uh, nothing here in photo mat there with a little butterfly. And cut out a megaphone from the paper line and just stuck it on this page. And there's a page that kind of gives you a glimpse of each of the paper styles. So I just put that on this page with a little heart. And this little page has a pocket. And then this back page has a pocket. And I'm going to make some little tags to go in there. And so that she can put photos on or whatever. 
So I try to keep my embellishments on the inside as flat as possible, um, just so it won't bulk out too much. And then just on the back side of the mini, I just did some bling. So that is the little mini. And it fits perfectly into the uh, little balsa box. Um, also, another thing I like to do with some of my projects is to put the name of the paper line on the project. Uh, so I actually cut out the name here and put it on there, London Market. It says Rare Finds and Curiosities. So I just made that like the title on the front of this box. So everyone, thank you for watching, and y'all have a great day. Thanks.